video pulp super cardi's dread okay just a little something to start things off while we wait this is the wii sports resort waiting room games crushed by a steamroller at lelystad airport in front of an hangar with filled with old planes a giant pile of game boy games was dropped onto the ground piles of boxes filled with brand new games stood at the side of the hangar a giant antique steamroller sat whistling and fuming just before the start of the trail of games on the ground he wouldn't know that would be such a waste video pulp the heavy steamroller whistled one more time and then slowly started to move effortlessly its big wheels rolled over the games what remained was a pile of unusable pulp it was Mario himself that emptied the new boxes of games in front of the roller before the wheels started turning again. Why were all these popular Nintendo games being crushed? If Nintendo didn't want them anymore, then surely they could have just handed them out. Lots of video game enthusiasts would have wanted them. Crushing them to pieces is so unnecessary. Fake games. This destruction of so many games is not without a reason. The more than 10,000 games that were crushed by the roller were counterfeit Nintendo games, perfectly reproduced, including the packaging and the Nintendo seal of quality, but fakes nonetheless. The fake games came from Hong Kong and were intercepted by customs authorities in the Netherlands. Pig in a poke. These almost indiscernible from real games were being sold regularly, regularly to people, often much cheaper than legitimate Nintendo games. Most of the time, the games shipped without a Dutch language manual or warranty. If you fall for this, you're buying a pig in a poke, since these foreigners sorry, <laughs> forgeries can damage your console. I can read. This not only gives Nintendo a better reputation, it's also a sad thing to happen to customers your money down the drain, put it clear what is crushing. That's what Nintendo de does. They deal with forgeries and foreigners by crushing them. I can't believe Nintendo is that ter terrible of a company. Anyway, you have to check and make sure you're not buying forgeries. That was a lot of... Uh, that dialogue gave me anxiety. I was like... Ugh! And then just words came out like vomit. It's a lot of words. Anyway, here's a dramatic recreation of the pulpage. Also, I guess this is the right time to play this clip. And words, man, we made them up. Oh. What the fuck? What kind of game is this? camera is so terrible. Mario just steamrolled another person. No, Mario, please! God, this feels like Smile Ghost. This is some of the worst camera I've ever seen in a video game, even for a shit post. I get what it does, it goes to Mario. Oh my god, he just broke through my window in real life! I wonder if there's a way to win. I can't believe Mario actually crushed foreigners. You saw it. Those poor people. 
They were just here for video games. I guess to Mario, everyone's a foreigner, though, if you think about it. Where the fuck is he from? Brooklyn? I don't know about that. I don't know any Italians that are that jovial. This guy's like, Wahoo! All the Brooklynites I know are like, Hey, Luigi, how you doing? I think he's from the Mushroom Kingdom. And he just uses the Brooklyn thing as a cover. Yeah, he's jovially trying to murder me, chat member. Do you know how happy he probably is right now? You hear him? He's, that's very happy. Now body turn to air, or Lucifer will bear thee quick to hell. O soul, be changed into little water drops, and fall into the ocean ne'er to be found. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in rain. Time to die! Uh, this video game falls under fair use of U.S. copyright law, section 107. That was it then? Alright.